Thank you, Chip. Texas Governor Greg Abbott's expected to soon sign some legislation governing the use of law enforcement body cameras. This new law really could have a big impact on cases like the one we saw play out in McKinney this week. Democratic State Senator Royce West is here this morning and authored the new legislation and joins us. Thank you very much for being here, first of My all. Pleasure. We know video doesn't always give the whole picture, at least these like little cell phone video clippets that we get. Uh, but like in the case of McKinney, it definitely helps out. Exactly, it sure does. You know, and, and, and the fact is, had there not been some video footage of exactly what happened, you'd have had a he said, she said situation right. between the officers and the students here. And, and the question is, just because the officer resigned, uh, it shouldn't mean that the investigation should stop because oftentimes officers will resign and then go to some other, uh, other uh, police department. And so the federal government needs to look at whether or not this is official misconduct. And also the state government needs to look at whether or not this was official misconduct. Right, yeah, they're looking to see if any charges should be filed against him. You wrote this bill and you firmly believe that every police officer in the state, it basically should be a standard part of their uniform, body cameras. And, and the governor is going to be signing this bill. You expect him uh, by, by what, June 21st? You expect yes, it I to mean, be it should, law? Yes, it should be law, right. So what, what exactly does that mean? What exactly does the bill state? What, what it means is that uh, if, if a police department, if a community gets its police department to have a body camera program, then there'll be specific laws that they would have to comply with. Mm -hmm. In addition, if, it, if the community decides to do so, it would be able to apply for a grant through the governor's office where uh, the legislature, based on a bipartisan effort, we're able to get, get about $10 million to put in the governor's office for communities to be able to get grants in order to deploy these body camera programs. All right, so this doesn't mean every single officer is going to have a body camera. It's going to be up to the individual police department to apply for this money to purchase those body cameras. Why wouldn't a police department do that? Uh, there's no logical reason why they should. And every officer should not have a body camera. If you are a patrol officer, you should have a body camera. Mm -hmm. If you're sitting behind a desk, there's no need to have a body camera camera sitting behind the desk. And so what we did, we allowed for each community to basically customize what their programs need to be and then uh, put in place certain pr uh, policies by state law that they would have to comply with. Mm -hmm. We know like the city of Fort Worth, they've got body cameras. We've, we've focused on that a lot. The city of Dallas, uh, Dallas City Council recently approved $3.7 million for body cameras. They're only starting with 400 officers in the beginning. They said only 200 street officers will try them out. Uh, a lot of people are wondering why, why wouldn't you try to get one on, on all the officers that are on the street, but maybe this is just the beginning of it. And then they could apply for this funding. Yeah, too. And, and, and let me say this too. I want to thank Chief Brown uh, because Chief Brown provided a substantial amount of leadership in helping us to get this uh, law passed. So hmm. I want to make certain that I say that. Uh, and when, you, when you begin to think about the cost, there are a lot of variables, right? This is kind of cutting edge stuff, and you've got to look at exactly what the budgetary uh, 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 parameters are going to end up being with this particular program. Another question is, and is it going to be up to the department how often those uh, cameras are, are recording? Because I know some in some police departments, the officer has to physically push a button before they get out of their vehicle, uh, whereas other departments, the camera rolls the entire time the officer's on the job. Well, see, and that's ex that's the beauty of the law. You'll be, you're able to customize it based on exactly what's going on in your community mm -hmm. uh, as it relates to when you're supposed to turn it on and when you're supposed to turn it off. Okay. There may very well be in instances of domestic violence. Should you have the camera on the entire time? And whether that type of footage should in fact be in the public domain. So there's a lot of different issues that we uh, dealt with, privacy issues as, a, as it relates to this particular law. Right, so it'll be up to the individual department, the individual city's department, but uh, some funding is going to be provided, which is which is something that's that a lot of the departments need. And I'm hoping that we see body camera programs throughout the state of Texas. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you My for pleasure. coming here and explaining. All right, coming up.